Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Atami here, and welcome to the first episode of Pip My Mugen! And in today's episode, we're gonna download the game, download the characters, download the stages, and download the screen packs, and installing all of them to create the ultimate Mugen! By the way, Mugen only works on Windows. It doesn't work on Mac OS. It does not work on Linux. It does not work on Google Chrome OS. It does not work on Android or iOS. So if you have any of those devices and do not have a Windows computer near you, sadly, you're out of luck. Sorry. But aside from that, let's begin the tutorial. So the first thing that we need to do is that we need to check out what version of Windows we actually have. This is crucial because we need to know what type of version your Windows is so we can download the programs accordingly. To determine what version of Windows we have, we're going to click on File Explorer and we're going to click on Local Disk C. So if you see a Program Files x86 folder, that means that you have 64-bit version of Windows. If you do not have that and only have Program Files, then you have a 32-bit version of Windows. We're going to be downloading 7-zip and we're going to be downloading Notepad++. So, as I just explained, 64-bit is for people that have Program Files x86 and people that don't have this folder are 32-bit. So let's go and let's download 7-zip. Of course, we're going to download the 64-bit version since we have a 64-bit computer. And we're going to download Notepad++. We are going to be getting the 64-bit version. So click the installer. All right, awesome, perfect. And we're gonna exit out of that. And now let's go to our file explorer. Let's go to downloads and let's double click on 7-zip and let's install it. Awesome, it just installed. Okay, so let's install Notepad++. You're gonna double click on it, press yes, press okay, press next, I agree, next, next. Install. Awesome. And it's there. All right. So the next thing that we're going to do is that we're going to download a Mugen version. So we're going to download Mugen 1.1b as it's quite literally the best version. It supports widescreen. It supports really high resolutions. So let's go and download that one real quick. Awesome. So it seems as though the file is done downloading. Okay. So here's what we're going to need to do. So we're going to right click on the Mugen 1.1b1 that we just downloaded. Go to Properties, go to Change, and scroll down and look for another app on this PC. We are gonna go to this PC, Local Disk C, and then we're gonna go to Program Files. We're gonna try and see if we can find the 7-zip folder. So we're gonna open up the 7-zip folder and we're gonna press 7ZFM and we're gonna press Open. We're gonna hit apply, we're gonna hit okay, and now that should have a seven zip icon. We're gonna double click on it, and we're going to just drag and drop it. And check it out. All right, let's double click on it, and now we have Mugen. So let's open it up. Ooh. So if you have a desktop, um, you can immediately press F1. If you have a laptop, and you cannot press F1 for some strange reason, it's, it's muting your computer. What you have to do is that you have to press FN and F1 to get rid of that screen. And there you go. Check that out. So the first thing that you want to do is that you want to go to options. And we want to configure our controls. So we are going to go to input config. Uh, if you have a joystick plugged in or a controller, um, you're going to press joystick enabled. It'll be automatically enabled for you. And you're gonna to go to joystick config, you press enter, and you're gonna press enter again to config all, and then you can set up your joystick. But I don't have a joystick today, so I am going to configure my keyboard. So I'm gonna press enter on keyboard config, press enter on key config all, uh, where I'm just gonna basically do what I'm comfortable with. A, B, C as A, S, D, and X, Y, Z as uh, X, Y, Z and start we're going to press exit return to options and we're going to press left on load save and then we're going to press enter so there you go we actually just got our controller to work in mugen so let's see kung fu man and his girlfriend were going for a walk 
when they were being attacked by the evil Suave dude and his minions. While Kung Fu Man was busy fighting off the minions, Suave dude captured his girlfriend. Determined to rescue his girlfriend, Kung Fu Man now sets off for Suave Dude's secret mountain temple hideout. Let's go. So, here we go. We're into the game here. Round one. Let's go. Okay, great. The controls work awesome. All right, so, now I know what you guys are saying. All right, Tommy, now we want to sexy it up. How do we get that ball rolling? And how do we add more characters? So, before we add more characters, we're going to install something called a screen pack. A screen pack is going to change the way the Mugen looks, and it's also going to give it a lot more characters. So, let's go download one from the Mugen Archive. So, to download from the Mugen Archive, you are going to have to make a account. Uh, the account is free. Basically, you're just going to have to put in your email, put in your password, and then that's it. Then you have access to unlimited downloads from Mugen. But if you somehow can't register or it's being blocked or some weird thing like that, I definitely recommend Mugen Free For All. This website is literally the equivalent to the Mugen Archive. Um, they have everything from characters to screen packs to stages to even full Mugen games, which is really cool. So today we're going to be downloading everything so let's go get a screen pack shall we so we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see add-ons we're gonna click screen packs okay so you have some categories here you have capcom you have snk and you have heroes so i'm gonna scroll all the way down because not everybody puts their stuff into categories so i'm gonna scroll all the way down see which one i like i think i'll go with this mugen fighting jam version 1.1 Checking my browser before accessing the Mugen Archive. All right, awesome. I'm seeing that this is awesome. I don't know what Mugen Jet is, but that's awesome. We're going to download this one. Okay, so that actually finished downloading. So we're going to open it up. We're going to minimize our browser window. And we're going to open up the folder. Now, not every screen pack is going to come with a Mugen.exe. So this is why I'm going to tell you guys to do it like this. So you're basically going to grab all the files and you're just going to drag and drop it. And then you're going to press replace all files in the destination. Awesome. Check this out. Now that we got all that, we're going to exit out of 7-Zip and we're going to double click on Mugen again. And now Mugen completely changed into something really, really, really cool, right? So we're going to press enter and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to set up the controller the same exact way. Every screen pack doesn't change the keyboard config or the joystick config. So we're going to reconfig up all our controls real quick. And hopefully this will be the last time that you'll ever have to do this because you'll be saving it. Option save. And we're going to go back. And now we're going to go to arcade mode. And now look how many character slots we have. We have a lot to work with here. So we're going to choose Kung Fu Man. Of course, we already know his backstory. So look at that, this thing looks hella awesome. And it looks smooth, the background is in HD and everything. Like, it looks epic. So, we're going to close out of this. Tommy, I need characters. All right, we got you. So, we're gonna go back, we're gonna go to downloads again. We are going to go to characters. You can click on the picture or you can click below. Um, you have a lot of subcategories here. You have Capcom and you have every single series made by Capcom. You have SNK and every single series made by SNK. You have heroes and anime and manga. And then you have a bunch of anime heroes and mangas and other figures and, and Bushido figures. I have no idea what that is. And video game universes. And you have, you just have a lot. Okay. I am a manga guy, comic guy, and TV guy myself. So I'm going to click on that. Um... One of my favorite franchises is Dragon Ball. Let's see if they got it. Of course they do. Uh, let's see if they got Goku. All right. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Extreme Butoden. There's the Dragon Ball 3D. Let's go with Extreme Butoden. I like that game's pixel art. It's pretty good pixel art. And plus Arc System Works made that game. All right. So let's go to uh, Sun Goku. 
Okay, so there's gonna be an alternate link. I don't usually click on those. Let's click on this one. Use the alternate link in case if you get banned or something like that. Inactive members may not download files larger than 100 megabytes. For some strange reason, that character is over 100 megabytes. Um, so let's go and let's download it through the alternative method. <laughs> All right, we're leaving Mugen Archive. Okay, so let's download it via the mega link that it has given us. So we're, let's click on Goku. Let's download Goku as a standard zip. Okay, seems like the download is done. So we're gonna open up the file. We're gonna minimize our browser window again. And we're going to, oops, we're gonna exit out of that. And now we're gonna make sure that we put the characters in the right slot. So we are going to open up the characters folder and we're going to drag and drop the character that we have and we're going to drop it in there now if the character does not have a folder and it looks like this so if a character doesn't have a folder and it looks like this what we're basically going to do is we're going to make a new folder on the desktop and we're going to extract all these folders i mean all these files into the folder Right, and we're gonna scroll down until we see WN Goku 09.def. We're gonna copy this. We're gonna press F2, and we're gonna command paste it. Okay, so that's only if, do this only if the character does not have a folder. In this case, we do have a folder. So all we do was drag and drop it. And let's hope these other Mugen creators uh, just uses that. Bleh. Let's just hope that these other Mugen creators use folders instead, <laughs> as it makes it much easier on us. But our work is not done. So we're gonna right click on the WN Goku. We're gonna rename it. And we're just gonna copy the name. That's it. So let's add the character to Mugen. Just because we added the characters into the character folder, that does not mean that we successfully added them to Mugen. So we're gonna open the data. And as you're gonna see, we're gonna go to select.def. We're gonna right click on properties and we're gonna do the same exact thing what we did with 7-zip, but only for Notepad++. So we're gonna look for another app. We're gonna click on Notepad++ and we're just gonna click on Notepad++. And we're going to click apply and OK. So in the select.def, we're going to go in and we're going to scroll all the way down until it says insert your characters below. Right? And it says KFM, KFM 720. Now just press Control and V because that's the paste command. And there you go. We just added our character into Mugen. Also, make sure you have a comma there and save. So let's see if he showed up. We're gonna double click on Mugen. We're gonna press enter. We're gonna press enter. We're gonna go to arcade and he didn't show up. So some Mugen creators actually don't use the standard select.def. So we are actually gonna find something that has a very similar name to select.def. In this case, I see a player select.def. So let's double click on that. And let's scroll all the way up. And I see right there that there is a characters and it says blank, 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 blank. Do not put the characters on where it says blank. Where it says blank, do not put characters there. So right where it says random select, we're gonna take one out. We're gonna backspace. And then we're gonna paste Goku's name in. And then we're going to exit and see if that added Goku to the Mugen. So we're gonna double click on this. And we're gonna press enter. We're gonna press enter, arcade mode. And look at that, Goku is like right there. All right, so we're gonna press whatever you have as open. All right, and look at that. Goku's right there. Oh, wow. It even has, like, really cool, 
cool like transitions and and stuff like that all right i don't know how to play this character so i'm just gonna exit out and now i'm gonna show you how to add stages so we're gonna go right back to the mugen archive we're gonna close out of that tab we're gonna go back to downloads we're gonna scroll down and then we're just gonna pick stages all right let's go with something awesome Let's go with something awesome. Let's go, uh, let's go Devil May Cry. Right? And we're gonna find a widescreen stage. Alright, so let's try DMC4 Jungle. Let's download that. Okay, great. It opened. Alright, so we're gonna open that one. We're gonna minimize that. And we're going to open up Jungle DMC4 or whatever stage you downloaded. And we're gonna go to stages. We're going to highlight the def and the SSF file. And then we're gonna drag it and drop it into the stages. We are going to exit out of this and we're gonna go to the sound. And we're gonna put all the MP3 files in there. We're gonna close it out. We're gonna close it out. And we're gonna open up the Mugen. Oops. Okay. <laughs> We're going to press enter. Press enter. And now, how do we know if this stage actually worked? Right? We're going to go to training. We're going to select the character. We're going to select another character. Oh, wait. This stage didn't show up. Guess what we didn't do? We didn't add it. So, we are going to... Rename... We're going to copy this and we're going to go back to that player select dot def in the data folder. So we're going to go back up in here or whatever the select dot def folder is. We're going to scroll all the way down until it says stages. So right here, we're going to type stages. You see, it says stages slash training. We can press enter and we're going to backspace because it's not the training zone that we want. So. We're going to paste in what we had, and we're going to type in .def, and then we're going to press save. Then we close it out. We press back. We open up Mugen. Press enter. Press enter. And we're going to go into training. We're going to pick Kung Fu Man. And we're gonna pick another Kung Fu man. And now we're gonna keep pressing left until we see Jungle DMC4. Let's go. We're gonna press it. And boom, there it is. That's awesome. So we set up Mugen, we set up the characters, we set up the screen pack, and we set up the stages. All right, and that was it. We just set up Mugen. <laughs> Obviously you do this a couple more times if you want a lot more characters. Um, and you can go as crazy as you want with it. On the channel, we will be covering full Mugen games every Monday. So check out for that. And um, that's about it, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. This is It's Atami signing out. Woo!